good morning all of you in previous classes we have discussed about finding the solution of a quadratic equation using by completing square before that we have completed by using factorization now we are discussing about the completing square of this by using formula but by using graphical method not there so three methods are there in this year factorization completing square and also by using formula so first and third better as compared to this one but in examination 99 percent they will ask by using formula so sometimes by using this method also but get ready for this first you be be prepared be perfect by using formula factorization very simple then finally you prepare this one okay now now question number three four x square plus four into root 3 into x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, as I told you, completing square means you have to remember two important identities. The first one, a plus b whole square. That is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, another one, a minus b whole square. That is a square minus 2ab plus b square. If coefficient of x is positive, we get a plus b whole square. If it is negative, we get a minus b whole square. So, in this question, we will get in the form of a plus b whole square. So, this is first rule. Next, second one, just you have to observe the coefficient of x square here. So, the coefficient of x square is 4. That is perfect square. So, in previous questions, 2 they given. We multiply by 2. I mean, you have converted in terms of as a perfect square so here is already perfect square so no need to multiply by any number now you compare to this expansion a square plus 2ab plus b square so first term a square so second term 2ab you should compare only these two ok now therefore as what is the value of a square 4x square therefore what is the value of a root 4 into x square and therefore what is the value of a 2x a value 2x next 2ab so 2ab value is equal to 4 into root 3 x outside as 2 into a value 2x b as it is 4 into root 3 x outside and therefore find the value of b 4 into root 3 x outside divided by 2 into 2x x gets cancels 2 to the 4 and therefore the value of b is equal to root 3 very careful and therefore the value of b square is equal to root 3 square so square and square root gets cancels and therefore the value of b square is equal to only 3 Okay, na? next add and subtract b square value. What is the value of b square? 3. Add and subtract 3. Okay, na? yes, the given equation will become 4x square plus 4 into root 3 into x plus 3 as it is plus 3. We should add subtract 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 ok na? next which implies 4x square can be written as 2x whole square plus 4 root 3 into x can be written as in terms of 2ab 2a value 2x b value root 3 2 into 2x into root 3 2 into 2x 4x 4x into root 3 that is 4 root 3x yes next very careful 3 can be written as root 3 whole square correct huh? root 3 whole square next plus 3 minus 3 gets cancelled so what will get here 0 here also 0 plus 3 minus gets cancelled is equal to 0 now some of these three terms can be written as so 2x a plus b that is root 3 whole square is equal to 0 therefore 
2x plus root 3, remove the square and take square root, so that is also equal to 0. Therefore, 2x is equal to minus root 3, therefore x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 and also another root is also equal to minus root 3 by 2 because a quadratic equation has two roots x value minus root 3 by 2 and another value is also minus root 3 by 2 so this is the final answer let us consider next question question number 4 2x square plus x plus 4 is equal to 0. 2x square plus x plus 4 is equal to 0. So again, middle term plus, what you will get in the form of a plus b whole square, that is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Before that, coefficient of x square is equal to 2. This is not a perfect square. Find first you have to convert this one as a perfect square by multiplying the number. So by multiplying 2, we will get 2 into 2. That is 4. 4 means perfect square. Thus, which implies so multiplying by 2. If you want to write, no problem. Multiplying. Multiplying by 2 on both sides multiplying by 2 on both sides so which implies 2 into 2x square plus 2 into x plus 2 into 4 2 into 0 0 which implies 4x square plus 2x plus 2 4 is 8 is equal to 0 as I told you in place of a square. This is in plus 2ab. We should find the value of b and b square. So, therefore, the value of a square is equal to 4x square. Therefore, a is equal to root of 4, 2x square, x. The value of a is equal to 2x. In place of 2ab is equal to 2x. So, 2 into a value 2x into b is equal to 2x. Therefore, b is equal to 2x divided by 2 into 2x. So, 2x, 2x gets cancelled. What is the value of b? 1 by 2. That's very important. And therefore, b square value is equal to 1 square, 1 by 2 square, 4. Yes. b value 1 by 2, b square value 1 by 4. Let's add and subtract. 1 by 4 okay, na? of this equation. Yes. This equation. Add and subtract 1 by 4 of the equation 1 of the equation 1. That's 4x square plus 2x plus 8 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 0. So which implies 4x square can be written as 2x whole square. 2x can be written as 2 into a value. 2x. B value. 1 by 2. We will get in the form of a plus b whole square. So this one you have to consider plus 1 by 4 can be written as 1 by 2 whole square. We send these terms here. 1 by 4 minus 8. Okay, na? Yes. Now, some of these three terms can be written as in terms of a plus whole square. a value 2x plus b value as this is b very important b value what is the value of b 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 a plus b whole square is equal to take lcm 4 is the lcm 
करेक्टा फोर वन जा वन इंटू वन वन माइनस वन फोर जा फोर इंटू एट थर्टी टू सो विच एम्प्लाइज सो टू एक्स प्लस वन बाई टू होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी वन नॉट थर्टी थ्री थर्टी वन बाई फोर therefore टू एक्स प्लस वन बाई टू इज इक्वल टू आई टोल्ड यू रिमूव द स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट यू शुड टेक सो प्लस आर माइनस अंडर द रूट माइनस थर्टी वन बाई फोर करेक्टा दे फोर टू एक्स प्लस वन बाई टू इज इक्वल टू प्लस आर माइनस रूट ऑफ माइनस थर्टी वन एज इट इज बाई फोर मीस टू सो दिस इज इमेजनरी imaginary we'll discuss later so therefore 2x is equal to as you send this term here minus 1 by 2 plus or minus root of minus 31 by 2 and therefore I'll write here so 2x is equal to 2 lcm minus 1 same terms will get plus or minus root of minus 31 therefore x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root of minus 31 divided by 2 to product of these two four okay na and therefore x is equal to minus 1 plus root of minus 31 by 4 and another answer x is equal to minus 1 minus root of minus 31 by 4 so these two are the roots of the quadratic equation okay na right as if you are going to leave this class i will give some homework question by using this method only try to find the answers so this is a cbse 10th standard textbook from this book i will give some homework questions at least daily one you should try and also many homework questions are pending you didn't send any messages or any answers except one or two on factorization please don't neglect send answers i will make it correction and also i will say your mistakes please don't keep any work pending so take blank papers or same notebook you, know, you write in your same notebook no problem okay na homework on completing square homework First one. So x square plus eight x plus twelve is equal to zero. Question number two. Two x square minus five x plus three is equal to zero. Question number three. Three x square. Minus five x plus two is equal to zero. Question number four. Five x square minus six x minus two is equal to zero. Question number five. Three x square minus x minus four is equal to zero. Question number sixth one. X square minus four x minus five is equal to zero. Seventh one. Three x square. Three x square minus five x plus two is equal to zero. Question number eight. Two x square minus thirteen x minus seven is equal to zero. Question number nine. Two x square plus seven x minus four is equal to zero. So question number ten. X square. Minus three x plus two 
is equal to zero. So here there are some homework questions. Please at least daily you should try one. Only one question. Okay na? Please don't neglect. Next class we'll discuss about very important question topic that is solution of a quadratic equation by using formula. First I will prove the formula, then we'll solve some question and answers. Okay, thank you.